the most worshipful, the Grand Master. Call upon the Grand Chaplain for the benefit of prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, creator and giver of all life, as we celebrate the tercentenary of the founding of the Premier Grand Lodge and the birth of organized Freemasonry, we give thee heartfelt and humble thanks for all we derive from our Masonic membership in the practice of every moral and social virtue. Keep our order, we beseech thee, within the benevolent spirit of thy divine providence so that brotherly love, relief and truth may increase among us to benefit those in need and be a source of blessing and comfort to all whom we serve here and the world over. Grant that thy wisdom may guide us, thy truth enlighten us and thy justice dignify our lives. This we ask for the honour and glory of thy holy name. Brethren, let us sing a hymn of service to God and country. On the deputy grand master. Most worshipful grand master and brethren, I hereby read the text of a letter sent today to Buckingham Palace. May it please your majesty, we, the representatives of over 200,000 Freemasons under the United Grand Lodge of England, most respectfully express our continuing loyalty to your majesty's throne and person in this, the 66th year of your long and distinguished reign. Today we celebrate the 300th anniversary of the foundation of the Premier Grand Lodge and the 50th anniversary of the installation of His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent as our much loved and greatly respected Grand Master. We humbly thank God for preserving our order and fervently pray his blessings on your majesty so that our loyal devotion to your majesty may long continue. 
given at the Royal Albert Hall this 31st day of October, Anno Domini 2017. Her Majesty has been pleased to reply in the following terms. The Queen has asked me to thank you for your kind letter of loyal greetings on behalf of the representatives of the Freemasons under the United Grand Lodge of England on the occasion of the 300th anniversary of the foundation of the Premier Grand Lodge and the 50th anniversary of the installation of the Duke of Kent as your Grand Master, which are being celebrated on the 31st of October at the Royal Albert Hall. Her Majesty appreciated your thoughtfulness in writing as you did and, in return, has asked me to send her warm good wishes to you all for a most successful event. It is with the warmest fraternal greetings and pleasure that I welcome you all here today to celebrate this special anniversary, the tercentenary of the founding of the Premier Grand Lodge in London. I had the pleasure of meeting 136 Grand Masters visiting from overseas at Freemasons Hall yesterday. Today, though, we are a meeting of more than 4,000 gathered from all around the world, from our own constitution and beyond, united in peace and harmony, regardless of race, religion, or any of the other things that historically foment division. We are pleased that this audience is further enlarged by many who are watching the proceedings here on live screens at Freemasons Hall and up and down the country, and indeed in other countries. I extend a warm and welcome greeting to you all. Our own provinces and districts have joyfully celebrated the tercentenary in many innovative ways this year, marked by the eager participation of their local brethren. Many of our visiting graduates